collecting is really a passion for beauty. It may be art, it may be pieces, it can be houses or garments. It's a passion. This room was an original artist studio. It's actually the artist whose work is there, Glenn Philpot, and it was built for entertaining and displaying art. I was told by the grandmother of the previous owner that um, Alistair Crowley used to do dark magic here by this fireplace in the early 20th century, so it's loaded with history. My great-grandfather was an artist and an architect, so I was exposed to art from an early age. And then obviously it needed to be only when I could have enough money to basically buy art that I could afford. I'm the owner of Huntsman, which I bought um, five years ago, and always thought I wanted a business that could be there forever. There's no such thing as a typical huntsman man, celebrities, royalty, businessman. What they all have in common is an appreciation for what's beautiful but technical and useful at the same time. We find that most people are buying um, a bespoke garment because they're really going to keep it for a long time. One of the first things I got bespoke was uh, Harley Davidson. What's really interesting is that you start from a carcass and then you can put whatever pieces you want and you work with the creator. Life experiences are as important as physical possession. The Airstream was inspired by two Airstreams that I've got in the country in England where I can't build more rooms because it's in a protected area. I've taken it last year from Vegas to Pebble Beach and then drove it to Burning Man. And I thought it would be really interesting to have an American icon outside. And then inside, it's London. A bespoke commission is an experience in itself. You are part of the experience, you're part of the creation. So this is the dining room. In the mirror, you will see a reflection of the orange jacket that Matthew Vaughan created for the second Kingsman movie. It's a beautiful orange, quite an expected color for a smoking jacket. And Matthew has been a Huntsman client since his mother brought him to the shop when he was 18. This is our dressing room, and that's where all our sort of clothes and shoes and your cufflinks and watches and, and whatnot are. So that's the Rolex Daytona with the Huntsman Treeman. I discovered a pattern of Paul Newman in one of the Huntsman fitting rooms because we've got a lot of patterns for most of our clients. So we had uh, Paul Newman Daytona treated to a Huntsman flavor. So it's a subtle, bespoke treatment. Sports is a very important part of my kid's life, my partner's life. We all love skiing and um, what's really exciting is to be able to tailor a ski to exactly the kind of ski that you do. And so I found these guys in London who are doing bespoke skis and um, which you basically give a lot of information about how you like skiing. And they came up with the perfect ski for you. I've been playing golf since I was a child. I'm not really getting any better, but uh, so I was asking what are the best putters and he sort of came up with this Bradley guy in America and so I reached out to him. People have a very emotional relationship with putter, it's all about confidence. So if there's something that you really feel it talks to you in terms of aesthetics or how it falls on the ground, then that's quite a good win. You know, having kids, you always want to make sure they want to come to your place. So having games is really fun. I told, okay, let's do something with tweed. And uh, the result actually is really, really nice. I love things at first sight. I need to sleep over and see, do I love it the same way the next morning? Do I really need it? You know, I just walk down the stairs from my bedroom in the morning, I see one or two things and I said, I love that. The Huntsman's lifestyle is all about bespoke. 
It's enjoying garments which have been made for you with your ideas in terms of design, a collaboration with the creator. When you have something that's been ready-made, it's been made for anybody. When it's bespoke, that's an infinite joy.